All right, guys, we got yet another treasure from eBay. I bought this from the same collector in Poland, but this one's made in Czech Republic. This is a fab, yet another company owned by Asset Abloy. This is a pretty cool lock uh, on the box. I think this means it's model 80 because it actually, I measured it at 50 millimeters along the bottom, but they say it's 52. So you got a little bit of inflation going on there. Um, it is made in the Czech Republic, so pretty cool. This Inside the box, you get, of course, the lock. You get a couple of keys, and the bidding on this one is okay, but we ha it is a five-pinner. I did run a pick through there. That first pin, you just barely, it's the highest possible cut, I think. It would really be cool if that first one was cut just as low as that one, but eh, you don't get perfect bidding every single time. It's, um, at least we have a, the lowest cut here, and then we got a high cut hiding directly behind it. So that'll be just a little bit of a challenge. Uh, this is nothing but a guide, so there's no nothing required from that little notch. That's just for purely for key alignment. It is a very paracentric keyway. Come on, baby. Focus for me. There we go. Um, I did run a pick through there to make sure they weren't hiding, say, a sixth pin back there running off the tip, and they're not. There's only five inside of here. Very paracentric. So... I'll probably end up using bottom of the keyway to give myself plenty of room. Um, what I did notice, though, is I can fit a 25 thousandths pick in there. My instinct in looking at this, because of that strong curve to the right, uh, is I would probably grab some a very thin pick, like one of these 13 thousandths. But I, when I counted the pins with the 25 thousandths, it seemed to fit in there okay. Oddly, I think there may not be a lot of warding in between each of the cylinders, but I don't know. We'll figure it out. A uh, very cool lock because it is not shimmable. Let me show you why. Um, it works beautifully. There's just a very slight spring tension, but here's the weird part. The spring tension, although it, it uh, feels like it might be on the core, it's really inside of the shackle. So let me show you what I'm talking about. When we turn the key, of course, it'll pop open. Now take a look at this mechanism. I'm going to turn the key below there. It is, it's... It's mechanical. It's a mechanical block. It's not a spring-loaded pawl. So we can't bypass that. Sorry. Uh, once that's locked, it, that little gate swings around inside of that cutout. This is a really solid locking mechanism. Very simple and a lot fewer pieces. The spring that we're feeling, though, when is the shackle pushing up against that little swinging lock gate. And that's the only spring tension. Right now, there's no spring tension on it whatsoever. Only when we lock it in there, turn it, now you have spring tension on it. Anyway, enough of that. Um, inside the box, we got, of course, two keys. And then we got these guys. This is pretty cool. Uh, what this tells me is that the people of the Czech Republic have a very strong sense of fashion. Because these are multicolored. You can match your key inserts inside that little hole to your outfit of the day. Like if today's the day you're wearing like your purple pants, you can put the purple one there. How cool is that? No, seriously, these are to identify uh, different keys. If you have similar keys on like several padlocks of the same manufacturer, you can color code them differently so you know which key goes to which lock or which key belongs to which person for a house, for example. Um, but I'm sure they do have pretty good fashion sense. Anyway, enough talk about fashion. Let's go ahead and clamp this fab up and uh, let's see if we can get this thing picked. All right, guys, I'm going to hold it. Same key. Still works. Uh, i got to rotate it a little bit more than 90 degrees to get that thing to open. Very strong spring on that uh, uh, shackle. You do have to keep the key turned in the unlock position, push the shackle back, and then re-engage that mechanical locking mechanism. All right, um, I'm going to try bottom of the keyway. Uh, very paracentric, and I can't use the bottom of the keyway anyway. Um, my Tension wrenches are color-coded red, white, and blue. Blue being the thinnest, and that's too thin. So I'm going to go to the white one. I want one that's as wide as I can get it into the bottom of the keyway, and yet still doesn't pinch on the bottom like that blue one was. This one seems to be just about perfect. Zoom in just a little bit. All right, for the pick, I'm going to choose this guy. This is the Sparrows. It's one of their hybrid picks. They... They call this thing the Tron, and guys, I got no idea where they come up with those names. But you see it slides very smoothly. If I slide it all the way in, I can push the pins all the way to the top, and without lowering the pick, I can drag all five of them. That tells me that inside of the lock, the, the keyway is pretty open. I looked at this a little closer when I was putting it in the vise. This 
front plate looks like it is the only restrictive part. So they apparently can replace this front plate with different ones to match different key profiles and yet use the same open core. So it's not quite as difficult as you might think. All right, let's try, see how easy it is to pick. I'm gonna slide this dude all the way to the end, apply moderate tension, and let's see what we got here. Looking for a binder. And I'm having trouble getting under pin four, feels like. Let me get that pick positioned. I think I'm he mushed up. I think I got two pins. These are pretty sharp. Okay, that time I got a very slight click. So I'm going to leave them alone for now. I got another binder. It looks like pin two. Got to click on him. like a binder is one he's hiding right up there in the front he's the hardest one to get at and there we go get my pick out of there all right open there you go guys the fab model 80 50 or maybe 52 millimeters uh, wide if you, if you want to buy them, they're made in Czech Republic, but you buy, I got to buy them from the guy in Poland on eBay. Anyway, thanks, guys. Appreciate your time. Stay safe. Stay legal.